Hey guys, welcome back to Stompless Clay Gaming. I'm back with my very posh sounding Denise. Cheers. It's been a while since we played and you didn't watch the last Let's Play again. Uh, I did, but when yeah, when when, when it was we, posted, yeah, right. But not recently. No. Neither did I. Could I run? Yeah. I think no, so. I was. I think I remember that this is where we have to go. That's where the lift is. What? That's where the lift is. Yeah, right. We need to go down here. Probably. Maybe. <coughs> Do you think we will encounter the guy from last time again? At some point, yeah. No. We have. Oh, this is uh, the rods you you meant, right? Is there something else? Nope. Is this? What? Shut up! You could close the door. I could? That's that's a great idea. Was this note here before? I don't remember. July 1839. Today I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may in fact have inspired the Globus Crucica, which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. Oh, do we know what to do with this? I don't. Come on, don't be such a pussy. Uh, wasn't that where... Uh, I'm lost. I thought this would be somewhere else. Oh! No, the, it's mm. okay. Yeah. Did you see the stairs when we came in? No. Okay, good. I thought it was just me. Machinery. Oh, but oh, this is where we have to place the rods, probably. Okay. Do you want to read that? Oh, directions. Okay. What? For what we need to do. Do you want to read that out loud? You mean? Yes, of course. I can. Know that there are only two spare rods left in the storage for the elevator machinery. Make sure to only discard the ones which are badly damaged and keep the others in the inner study rooms in case all three would crack again. Right, we were supposed to go to the study room again. Right! I remember! Yeah, it's kind of coming back now. But first I want to get out of here. We want to go downstairs first or back to the study room? We're already here, so let's go down. Can someone say hi to a friend? Oh, 
Aw, oh, come on. This is... Oh, great. How much stuff do we have to find? Carrying the cog wheel with a force, apparently. So <laughs> you have your hands free. But was that the, that does look like the right place? So yeah, I can't take it. Okay. Here you say? Maybe just check the corners. Ew! Why? Why? That's one of your hallucinations. But my light is. is I, I have light. Okay, it's not here. Then maybe it was on the way upstairs. Oh, that's oh one. nice. I think it doesn't even matter they're all the same. Mm. Could I jump? Yes. Oh. 14th of July, 1839. I've read every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others. From a baron in Prussia. He said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know. I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. What am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenburg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful, with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, in hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. Just me or these these moaning oh moaning sounds are they getting worse? Yeah, they're getting louder. I'm scared. Was that there before? Did I don't we think we've been in here before. But it's it's the room. Oh, okay. But we then we didn't check the table. But didn't we pick up the Seventeenth of July, eighteen thirty-nine. Uh. How has this escaped me? Uh. They're all dead. Limbs scattered, heads split down the middle, their skin flayed as if boiled. 
I feel like I'm falling what? into myself. And he didn't notice. What's happening? Sir William Smith, <laughs> Professor Taylor, now Dr. Tate. Is it following me? How can it not be? It's the damn thing I brought from Africa. Something is after me. I have no choice but to trust the Baron. He better know what he claims. If he is wrong, I suspect he'll regret it as well. Seriously, this note wasn't there before, was it? I'm really ah. not sure. Ta -da. Oh. But I can't open the door with... <laughs> <laughs> up there I have nowhere to hide no way to escape mm, no you can try throwing stuff at him and running do you think that works throwing stuff at him I don't know maybe oh god you still need to pull the lever up oh I thought I would you know, grab the other stuff first. Oh, okay. Last time, but why are we doing this? Playing this game for fun? <laughs> yeah, I'm having so much fun. Hmm. Study. Oh, that's new. No, it's um, it's back again. It, it was upstairs before. It was upstairs when we came out of here. Oh, okay. I took it down, and threw it into the uh, the the thingy thingy mm -hmm. thingy. But now it's back. Hmm. What was that? Oh, guest room. Oh, yeah, that's where we met the guest. <laughs> Do you want to play? No, I'm really tired of this. <laughs> I'm really scared. Oh. Hello. It's only another minute. You know, we could just pause and stall for some time or something <laughs> like that. It's still vibrating. Yeah, and it's it's sinking into the shelf. Right. Sure. That makes so much sense. So, rod. So. Where would a rod be? That would have been too easy. It's probably in the room with uh, with the uh, with the animals. What? Okay. Oh, it's so it's making sounds. It is making sounds. I just want to check this room properly. Mm. But you hear them talking as well, right? Yep. 
Okay, we're going lots. <sighs> okay. So before we go any further, we'll take a break. This is so much fun! Yay! <laughs> Is it me or are we getting crazier even when the lights are on? Yeah, definitely. That's why the, the cockroach was crawling yeah. across the screen even while even even though our lights were on, I oh. Yeah, well that probably means we're nearing the end. Oh, that would be good. <laughs> oh gosh, it's it's really insane how stupid I am when I'm playing these games that I can't, you know, that I can't express myself properly. I'm just... I'm so scared that I'm lacking words and just talking bullshit. But that means it's a good game. Yeah. It was It was the worst when I played Spooky. <laughs> I was... Uh, I couldn't express a proper thought anymore. And it's similar while playing Amnesia and my hands are so cold and shaking. Aww. Oh, you're so warm! Oh my <laughs> gosh! Seriously! <laughs> oh, and my hands are freezing and she's like toasty warm. You're not scared at all, are you? Um, it is a bit creepy. A bit creepy. Tiny bit. Tiny bit. Tiny bit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Great. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!